Ralph here from Wood Academy. It's a cold January day here in Florida, but I got a hot tip for you on how to measure and divide boards up evenly without doing any math. Now, to be honest, this is not a new trick, but it's one I've been using for many, many years, and I thought I'd pass it along because not everybody knows about it. But basically, no matter what size board or panel you have, uh, about 11 and 3 quarter here, 5 and an eighth, 5 and a half, and this one happens to be about 7 and 3 quarters. Doesn't matter. As long as I have some kind of rule, a tape, an actual tape, or even a ruler, yardstick, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to use it, not only to be able to quickly find the center line of an odd-sized board, but also divide it into any equal number of parts that you need to quickly and with almost no math. So if we measure this, we're at about seven and three quarters. Now, I could do the math. Uh, let's see, it would be three and a half plus three eighths. So three and seven eighths should be about the center point. But I don't have to do that. All I have to do is lay my tape across to any easily divisible number. Let's go for 10 inches in this case. So now I've got 10 inches of tape measure going from here to there. All I have to do is mark the board at the 5 inch point and that will be the center. Let's check it out and see how accurate that was. Oh look, 3 and 7 eighths. Because I went and created, remember the hypotenuse of any triangle is going to be longer than the actual side. So by turning this, I don't know what the angle is, it doesn't matter. Once I get either 10 or 8 or even 12, I get an easy, pick an easily dividable number and the halfway point along the tape is going to be the halfway point along the board. Now, a wooden yardstick or a full classic folding wood ruler like this one is ideal for doing this kind of layout. So here I've got a board that's oh, about 5 and 9 sixteenths wide. If I want to divide it into, let's pick 5 because it's a little bit more difficult to do, I'm gonna, I can set up to the 10 and the 0 across my board. And now all I have to do is mark every two inches will give me five divisions. So two, four, six, and eight. There's my five divisions. I could rip this board into five pieces that wide. So the wood ruler or the uh, yardstick are nice because they lay nice and flat. They're not curled. They're not trying to move around on their own and they can be held pretty steady. They're excellent for this kind of work. 